Hi, Scott from Digital Fish with Continent Catches. This is a trip I did with Matthew Hewitson from Fishing in God's Zone a while back. We were surf casting up at the graveyard, which is underneath the lighthouse of Poto on the Kaipara Harbour. We'd spent a few days in the area and done some boat fishing and surf casting. The boat fishing up the harbour was average, but the surf casting was more consistent as the snapper seemed to be holding along the stretch of sand. As we first arrived, I thought I'd try some stick baiting and tie it on a mullet looking Carpenter Diablo. Kingfish love mullet, and I was hoping a kingfish would have been patrolling the shallow water looking for an oily snack. With no takes, it was time to get out the long rod. This is my new surf casting rod, a 14 foot 6 inch Kilwell Zantu. It was longer than my last rod by about 1.5 feet, so I was still getting used to casting it. A lovely rod with plenty of power. You can see the morning was overcast and moody with a bit of sun breaking through. Great conditions for fishing and pretty spectacular as well. The fish were present and fairly aggressive on the bite. I found I'd get hits but I had one decent shot at hook up before losing my bait on most goes. We were using bullet tuna for bait. Bullet tuna are soft like pilchards but they have a much stronger backbone and for this reason they stay on the hook just a bit longer. I could have used cotton but I was a bit too lazy. As you can see the fish were all good sized panties. It wasn't a particularly warm day and these fish were in the chilli bin not long after being caught. We'd caught a feed of fish and headed back to the entrance of Poto. This was our last day of fishing and our most productive. The fishing along here can be pretty good and if the fish are there you will usually catch more than one. If you do drive down the beach at Poto here's some important tips. Firstly, take a four wheel drive. Second, it's usually safe to drive along the beach about two and a half to three hours after high tide. You want the sand to have a bit of time for the water to drain off the beach. The best place to drive is not at the high tide mark as the sand is soft but just above the pools of water here. This is where the sand is firm and you're least likely to get stuck. So we've just been driving along and Matt looks down and sees a whole clump of mussels freshly just washed up so I think it's going to be uh, seafood Mornay mussels and snapper tonight. Yeah, nice. This is Scott from Digital Fish with Continent Catches.